Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're doing a really quick three star guide in how to get three stars on the Vado Del Rio speed trap. Now this one is quite notorious because the actual speed trap itself is in the middle of water, which obviously slows down your speed and can be quite tricky. Now I use the Hoonigan RS200 for this challenge. The share code is on your screen now if you want to use this one. Uh, it took me quite a few attempts and a few cars, but I finally managed to get there using a bit of outside the box thinking. So instead of sticking to the main road heading up to the speed trap, I actually came off it to have a more direct and straight route. And on top of that, there's a hill which obviously helps you gain more speed as you're coming down it. Now, ignore loads of those trees because you'll probably knock them out of the way once you go up the hill. But like I said, you get a straight shot to this speed trap and there you can see it's very easy to get above the designated three star. I'll show you again because I got an even higher score. So all you want to do is turn back and go if say for instance you fail go straight back past the speed trap so you don't want to do it from this direction because of that sort of jump um, and you won't get a really good high speed you want to come straight off that road just spur off straight ahead smash through all of those trees and when you sort of get to the end that little barrier there is where you want to really turn around and you've pretty much created a path for yourself which shows you the direct route back to the road by destroying all those trees so again it's just a straight shot to that speed trap. You'll build up plenty of speed because obviously when you hit that water, you'll probably lose about 20 to 30 mile an hour, as you saw there. So I was doing about 165 before I hit it, but I got a new PB score of 146 mile an hour. So it worked quite well. You don't necessarily need a beefed up, jacked up off-roader to do this. The Hoonigan RS200 does a more than efficient job on it. Like I said, if you need to tune, that's available for you guys to use as well. Or of course you can tune it yourself. I know there's a few other ones, really good tunes out there as well. But this is how I managed to complete this one. Now, if you're struggling with any other PR stunts, just let me know and I will help you out. I'll create a guide for them. I've sort of spent all of yesterday going through and getting three stars on various, well, pretty much every PR stunt. So if there is anything you're struggling with, just let me know down below in the comments. Anyway, I hope this did help you out. If it did, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribing massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.